Okay, ladies and gentlemen, turn to page 10 of your notes. Right where I left off on the last video. We've got a two-way table going on here. And as we look at the two-way table, remember we have to find the margin totals. So go ahead and do that for me, please. Okay, now, so what we're about to do is answer these questions, and these questions give us the idea of the, if we remember the terminology, the marginal distribution. So, the probability of females, or the probability of Democrats, okay, what is that? Well, you know what? I want you guys to have the opportunity. You right now, find it, and I will call on you in a minute. Here, so as we're looking at the probability of Democrats, that's just the probability of Democrats right there. As I'm looking at the probability of females, that's the probability of females. But here is the probability of females and Democrats. Remember, that symbol means intersection because we've got to know our symbols. But remember, if you don't remember your symbols, just choose your words. Just choose your words. Ishman, are you ready for us yet? 64%, okay, because here as we look at this notation, okay, here is the probability of females, the probability of Democrats minus the overlap. And please remember, based on the question that was asked earlier, do you have to show all this work? Can I just write all the, just write the answers only? What's the answer, ladies and gentlemen? You have to write all of it. We are going to be constructing a two-way table, and we're also going to kind of jump ahead and construct a Venn diagram. Okay, so please remember, in our deck of cards, there are 52 cards, there are four suits, there are 26 red, <coughs> And there are how many jacks? There are four jacks. Okay, so we're going to try to make a two-way table um, of these events. Okay, so how many red jacks are there, guys? Two. Two. There's a total of four jacks. So if there's a total of four jacks, that means two of them are not red, which are the two black ones. Okay? If there are two jacks that are red, that means that there's 24 red cards that are not jacks. If there are um, two that are not red, that means, and there, um, that means that there are 24 that are neither red nor jacks. And then as we add up the margins, go ahead and get your total. And please notice the grand total is 52, as it should be. Okay, so our next question is the probability of jacks. Then we want the probability of reds, have it separate. Then we want the probability, we want to know what that is in words. And here, as I do my symbols, and then we're going to do problem D. So I want you guys to do problem B and C right now, please. Okay, probability of jacks, everybody? Four out of 52. Probability of red? Okay, next we want to describe this event. We want to find what's the probability of a jack and a red. So here we have a nice two-way table going on. And as we look here, the jack and the red is just right there. We don't have to use that formula because we have the nice two-way table. So this is going to be just, as you guys I'm sure already found out, 2 over 52. 
Now our next question is we need to explain why these are not equal. We need to explain why the probability of, of Jack or Red, which is written like this, no it's not, the probability of Jack or Red, how that is not equal to the probability of Jack plus the probability of Red. Okay, so the probability of Jack or Red, I want to do a Venn diagram. Because with the Venn, it's going to be a lot more e a lot easier to see. So even though we haven't talked about Venns, which we will be in a few minutes, let's just jump ahead. Okay, here's my Jack. Here's my Red. Now, here, Jack and Red. What is it? Uh, a Red Jack. There's a 2, and I'm going to squeeze that right in the middle because that's when both of them happen. Now, what about jacks and jacks alone? How many jacks? There's four jacks. Here's two accounted for, correct? Yes. So here's my other two. How many reds do I have total? There'll be 24. 24. That two are counted. Well, it's 26, right? Yes. And these two are accounted. Okay. Any questions? So remembering that this is the union, and this came from just looking at the VIN. It's easier to see. The, the um, two-way table is really fabulous, too, but it works better when it's here. And then we can see we got these from prior questions. Questions? Yes? Could you explain a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram. First of all, what a Venn diagram is nothing but an illustration. of events. And when we look at a Venn diagram in general, and I'm about to pull out my highlighters, the union can be done, and I'm, I should have tried to squeeze two Venn diagrams in here guys, so as I try to clean this up. Here's one Venn, here's another Venn, And as you can see, and that's really bad, okay, I can have one that looks like this, like I said. I can have, now, here, the idea of an intersection is just this. And the intersection is exactly where it shows up in the middle, where they intersect. Jumping down the complement, and I'm going to give myself two different vans on here. One that shows an intersection, one that shows um, one that shows that they're jointed, one that's disjointed. Your complement is it not happening, which is all of this area outside of that. And here my complement is literally all of this. And in terms of symbols, we're talking about the probability of A and B, that's your union, not. And the one right here is the probability of, it's the same idea. You have something that's intersection, that's right here. No, that's not gonna work because what I'm about to do right now will be everything else. So it's not neither A or B. Yes? I have a question back for the, like the last. So as we've gone back to problem number 52, this is the reason. I'm saying the probability of jacks, period. Then I'm saying the probability of reds, period. Uh, this is not the same as saying the probability of jacks and um, red. It's not the same. 
I'm not, or, or it's also not the same as saying the probability here. I'm saying right here, we're just looking at here are your jacks, here are your reds, here's the overlap. But right here, I'm looking at them as two separate entities. Think about it as um, I'm saying I want the probability of my jacks. Then I put all the cards back. And then I want the probability of the reds. So think of it as two separate events that I just want to add together. And then with the 28 over 52, you can't count, card, you can't count two of the cards twice. Correct. Gotcha. So if we look at it the long way... This is the probability of the jack. Okay, so first of all, I'm talking about the probability of jack here. Okay, so the probability of jack plus the probability of red minus the probability of the jack red. Okay, that is the reason rationale behind it. And like you said... This the the jack, the red jack was counted twice, so I had to take it out. So it's only counted as two times as opposed to it was doubled, which is four. This right here, in terms of our notation, is the same as that. Okay. okay any other questions on the cards? Okay. Now. I want you guys to take a moment to write this down, and we're going to need a lot of space, so I don't even have enough space. So as you draw it, just know that you're going to have to have some space later at the bottom to um, clarify all these symbols. Now what we're about to do is going to get kind of hard, okay? So, here, this is, okay, as I cover this up, this is the probability of event B, okay? As I cover that up, this is the probability of event A. But if I cover this up right here, this is the probability of event B, but not of event A, okay? Think about it. Why do you think I'm covering that portion up as I look at my bad manicure or what I need to do? Okay, so right here, here's the probability of event B, but I'm not including, including any of event A. As I cover this up right here, anybody want to try that? The so, probability of event A not, and not, not, including, not in, including event B. So... As I do this, and my handwriting is even worse than normal. Actually, that's not bad. Okay. Anybody want to give it a shot? What's the middle? Yeah, go ahead. What does C stand for, guys? The complement. And the complement, it did not happen. So that's right here why this is the probability of B not including the A. That's why I'm trying to cover that up. Okay? The middle is the probability of A and B. There's my intersection. And then as I twist this around, my leftover sample space right here. Tell me what do you think it is. The probability... You know it's a knot, right? So the probability of A, not, and B, not. So we're saying it can't be A, it can't be B, and then it's the combination of that which gives us this right here. Now, we're going to do some problems to help this make more sense. These symbols are a multiple choice question waiting to happen. Yes, I'm listening from 54. Okay, so problem number 54, we had a two-way table that had males, females, Democrats, 
Republicans. We had 47 males, 36 females. I'm sorry, 47 male Democrats, 36 male Republicans, 13 female Democrats, 4 male, 4 female Republicans. Okay. So, here, let's do a VIN. And this is going to be based on the political party. So this is Republican. And here, we're looking at Republican females. Why? Because that's what they told us to look for. That's the reason. So my question is, where, look up here and tell me, how many Republican females do I have? Four. That goes right in here. Republican females. Now let's just focus on this circle right here, which is the Republicans. So I'm going to cover that up. And I'm covering up a little bit more than I want to cover up. Okay, so here are Republicans. I have a total of, well, haven't found that out yet, have I? How many total, I need my, my, my totals, guys. So this is going to be 40. And that is for the Republicans, my total of 40. Okay, next. What about our? I don't want to keep doing this. Okay, what about our um, females? How many total females do I have? Seventeen. And here's four of them. Thirteen is right here. Okay. Now let's check. Does this give us the total number of females? Thirteen and four gives me the seventeen. So yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now. Does this count for everybody? No. Okay, so add that all together and subtract from 100 so we can find out people that are neither Republican nor female. That's going to be that right here. The probability of one or the other. Okay, because all you're doing is adding that up, 53 over 100. And if your thoughts are Ms. Yarbrough, you're not showing any work there. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. It's right there. Okay, and here, the probability of neither of them occurring, everybody is what? 47 over 100. 47 over 100. Okay, now, let's go to the next page. So we're going to end this problem.